In a major attack on immigrant communities across the United States, Attorney General Jeff Sessions has announced the Trump administration's rescinding DACA. That's the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, which gives nearly 800,000 young immigrants permission to live and work in the United States. The Department of Justice has advised the President and the Department of Homeland Security that the Department of Homeland Security should begin an orderly, lawful wind-down, including the cancellation of the memo that authorized this program. President Obama implemented DACA in 2012 after nearly a decade of massive grassroots organizing and direct action protests by undocumented youth across the United States. President Obama called Trump's decision to rescind DACA cruel. The Trump administration now says it will begin phasing out the protections in six months, meaning some DACA recipients will be eligible for deportation as early as March 2018. Between now and then, Congress has the opportunity to pass legislation legislation that could protect DACA recipients, as well as millions of other immigrants currently in the country without legal authorization. Sessions' announcement Tuesday morning sparked immediate protests across the country, with crowds taking to the streets in Minneapolis, Chicago, Los Angeles, Atlanta, Washington, D.C., New York and Houston, where thousands of DACA recipients and their families are currently helping the city rebuild after Hurricane Harvey. In New York City, 34 people were arrested at a sit-in led by undocumented out activists outside Trump Tower. Somos 11 millones y no tenemos miedo. Hemos estado aquí más de 30, 40 años y no, no tenemos miedo y vamos a, a comenzar. High school students in Denver staged a massive walkout in protest of Trump's decision to rescind DACA. The head of the U.S. Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, Javier Palomares, resigned from Trump's National Diversity Coalition in protest, calling the decision to revoke DACA inhumane and economically harmful. In Georgia, the Atlanta City Council immediately passed a resolution to support DACA recipients and to move to limit collaboration between local Atlanta police and federal immigration agents. Both New York State and California threatened to sue the Trump administration to protect the state's dreamers.